The apples have suffered. So what about autumn's other big crop? Last year, farmers reported problems with pumpkins. So our Pat Bailey hit the road today to see if those jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkin pies are going to be pricier this year. Did you find a good one, Dad? At the Gould Orchards, pumpkins are a plenty. Thousands of choices just in time for the season. Halloween is the time to have them. And I think the next two weeks are going to be prime time for people calling and looking for them. Ed Miller says the family farm planted their pumpkin seeds at the beginning of June. The dry summer weather forced them to irrigate their crop, but it was no problem. Instead, they have a smashing selection. We're able to get the sprays on that needed to be put on in order to keep the fungal diseases out, and uh, the fruits of the labor are right there in the field. Now, because the crop was so good, there's thousands of pumpkins to choose from, and the experts say it's very important, of course, to pick the right one. More of a roundish one, one that's big, though. Plenty of those here. Using their 13-pound toddler as comparison, this family walked out with 65 pounds worth of pumpkins. Back in the field, Shannon Limpscomb has made her choice after 10 minutes. Now it's time to go home and decorate. Probably like the eyes and the nose and the happy mouth and like maybe put some like colors on it, like with like paint or stuff like that. So you got big plans for this pumpkin. Yep. For the lonely pumpkins not picked, they will be used next month and served as pumpkin pie. In Castleton, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News.